this short video I will share with you some of the historic material that I used to build uh, chapter 31st of I Took Panama. Uh, this chapter takes place at the White House when uh, Bruno Varilla visited President Roosevelt in order to ask for his support in the um, organization of a revolution in Panama so that the United States could sign a, a treaty with Panama and complete the Panama Canal. I hope you enjoy it. This chapter uh, integrates a lot of fun historical facts from Bruno Varilla visiting the President of the United States at the Executive Mansion or the White House as Roosevelt started calling it back then uh, to the fact that he was going there to request support for an armed revolution uh, in a country so that the canal could be built to the fact that the Roosevelt family was living there uh, with young children at the time and their dormitories were located just steps away from the presidential office. I tried to integrate all of these facts in a short chapter in a way that was fun to read. I began writing chapter 31st based on this floor plan of the White House. But then I had to rewrite everything because I later found out that in 1902, the Roosevelt's had remodeled the White House to look like this. So, went back and started again with the chapter. In the chapter, I tried to stay true to Roosevelt's style. So, everything from his delighted greeting that he used to use to the rosebud on his label when he greeted uh, Bruno Varilla, I tried to include in the chapter. I thought that the Roosevelt children living at the White House would make for great material and so I have a meeting uh, Bruno Varilla as he comes into the second floor of the White House. One vehicle that I used to link uh, Bruno Varilla to the children as he visited the White House was the well-known story of the teddy bear. Uh, this is of course the uh, cartoon that started it all and it shows President Roosevelt refusing uh, to kill a wounded uh, uh, black bear during a hunting trip. And this, of course, was picked up uh, by uh, the media and shortly thereafter, uh, stuffed uh, plush bears were started uh, to be called teddy bears. So I used this during the novel uh, with one of uh, Roosevelt's children approaching Buno Varilla. The Secret Service um, had recently been created uh, right after the assassination of President McKinley. And so, as I wrote the uh, chapter of uh, Bruno Varilla's visit to the White House, it was important for me to show uh, the Secret Service somehow. And I did that by uh, including uh, Big Bill Craig, which was uh, according to uh, Edmund Morris in his uh, book, uh, Theodore Rex, one of uh, President Roosevelt's uh, uh, favorite uh, uh, bodyguards, and he was also very friendly to the Roosevelt children. Uh, Craig died in an accident protecting the president. Chapter 31 also discusses Captain Macklin, which is a, a real-life novel that had an incredible role in the history of the United States and the Panama Canal. I will provide more information on this novel in another short video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I Took Panama is available for sale on Amazon.com and there are more videos available on YouTube. Thanks for watching.